at, at the core of neuroscience and the brain and change and decision-making, we pay people to make good decisions and to exercise reason and judgment. That part of the brain is um, called the prefrontal cortex. And underneath that prefrontal cortex or the outer part of the brain is a little place called the amygdala. If you were to make a fist with your hand, the index finger would represent the prefrontal cortex, the executive decision-making, and your thumb on the inside represents the amygdala, which is called the reptilian brain also, right? Now, historically, it was the amygdala, the reptilian brain, that would kick into fight, flight, or freeze if it ever felt threatened. So think early days on the savannah. What neuroscientists like Dr. David Rock and many others have learned through the new you know, technologies out there is that the amygdala gets activated in any number of ways. The simplest way to think about it is the five ways called, called SCARF that this neuroscientist coined. Anytime your status is threatened, the amygdala is hijacked and you can no longer think prefrontal cortex or executive functioning. So you go in for a meeting with a client, right? And you inadvertently talk about politics and trigger them, right? All of a sudden that client can no longer think rationally about the things you're selling. In fact, it takes about 25, 30 minutes to get back to neutral for them to think about what it is you're trying to sell when in fact, you might only have a 30 minute window to make your pitch. You go into a performance review. If you haven't given your employee a sense of what to expect beforehand, they're not gonna be able to hear all of that corrective feedback you think you want them to absorb. So the manager says, well, I gave them the feedback and the employee says, oh my gosh, I don't know what just happened, but I'm really pissed. <laughs> and neither person has their goals met. So now you see new trends to say, we're not gonna do annual or semi-annual performance reviews. We're now gonna have coaching conversations. That's an organizational response to something very, very basic called the need for certainty. 